Welcome back to a saving screen. Do I not have the best timing or what on these videos? We are playing Clockwork Empires and our little colony is coming along nicely. Now, we do not have... Unfortunately, we do not have any, uh... Huge thing to do right now. Are you finally... Okay, my stupid... My stupid naturalist is exploring a field I planted. That is not good. Go check my commodities real quick. We still have plenty of cubes of clay and plenty of bricks. We have more than enough food. So I should I'm not gonna be planting any more farms anytime soon. We have almost uh cleaned out all this. I'm gonna go ahead and forge that because every time you forge something, there's a chance it disappears forever. I mean, it's just, it's meant in case you're having a hard time finding, like, farmable land. Meanwhile, our textile workshop is going to be sitting right here. Uh, up there's the last loads of bricks actually being carried in by more of the workers. So that's pretty good timing, actually. I don't want to assign any more jobs for a while because I'm at, uh, yeah, and now you can just come over here and she's going to build the shop. So, excellent. What to do now? I wonder how long this tree will take to grow. But I want to wait, oh, somebody befriended the worthless Alfred Snuffbox. She's asleep even though she's standing up. I know that now. I want to... I'm gonna go ahead and just flatten all of this. And... I'm trying to think where it would be a good place to... I'm trying to think, where's a good place to put my second bunkhouse? Uh-oh. Not that gum chance are you. <sighs> they still want denial. We have to get, stay the course, Chauncey. Textile workshop is done and needs a queue. Two flax makes one bolt, so we are going to want to go ahead and have a decent standing order. That's probably actually too much. I think seven is okay for me. Uh, how about the fawn trestles, because I don't think I'm going to be needing that much. So I took care of that, took care of that, okay. So as they can, a unit of neutral Novorossian troops is scouting around our colony. We must stay vigilant, my friends. They are not here to hurt us, which is great because we only have two people who can shoot. We shall not worry. We shall overcome this. Uh, there's a little graphical glitch right here, but Alpha is Alpha. Most importantly, I have the the flax is finally coming in. Thank you, almighty call. Because we really need that. So the next thing we're going to do after I finish setting up this workshop is we're going to build another place of beds. Right now I have one, two, seven beds. That is not nearly enough to... That's not nearly enough beds. So we'll build another bunkhouse with as many uh, beds as I can get. I want to go ahead and check my commodities for something. Now, I still have one pistol. I have a hoe. I don't know why. Uh, I think eventually you will be able... You will have to make... Yeah, because see, now I have four shovels and no hoes. Eventually, I think you will have to make tools and stuff. A la Dwarf Fortress. Which I'm actually kind of looking forward to. So, it helps you control, like, uh... 
you just you want to have enough hope you want to it'll make you want to only have like one crew doing farming because you won't want to make 20 hoes for the number of people in this group of 29, for example, that can be using them at any given point in time. And I kind of like that. I kind of like that the, the game is going to be getting more complex. Uh, how are my boards? Because I have 25 boards, I am fine. And I ask that because we are going to need... Oh, they're making friends while they spend the night. I, and I ask that because we are going to be needing a lot more boards to uh, not only build this, but we are going to need them to build a new bunkhouse, which is probably going to go... More criminals! Do I need anything else, actually? I could get a squad of redcoats, but I don't think I need it, so I'm just going to take a couple of criminals. Make sure we don't have any unassigned people. And as we look around, we can see everything seems to be coming along nicely. This okay, that's what a ripe for harvest plant looks like. So they are slowly but surely getting ready to harvest everything, which is good. Because here we are. And probably I should have built it closer to this stockpile where the flax is going to be. Up. Oh. A letter from the Ministry. Congratulations on meeting or exceeding 30 immigrants to your settlement. Have this commemorative ball of gold as a material indication of this tremendous accomplishment. More balls of gold may be earned later for providing consulting services describing in clearest detail how you have managed to not have everyone kill each other. I always knew I was special. And there is my ball of gold, and I want them to get that. No, I'm not. Those Novalian soldiers had better not take my ball of gold. Because I can't stop them from taking it if they want it. Wait, 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 wait. I have this. Why why did it land over here? Is that a computer error? Is that an error? And I'm gonna need another stockpile, so let's actually make a new stockpile. food and ch speaking of food well we'll have to just expand the food stockpile north here oh, okay William got the good man William good man hey when we build the church we're getting a gold uh, thing clear terrain voyage get that stuff out of there Yeah, we got, we've, oh, a bandit gang has not appeared again. It's not, there's like, uh, 20 something bandits split across three gangs. So if I can keep track of this in my head well enough. Uh, actually, we don't, we don't have to. Uh, one, two, three, four, five freaking bandit gangs. We haven't met any of these, these cultists. Apparently there are a couple of these things which I don't like. We don't actually know any of the fish people because we're not communicating with them for some reason yet. Which is weird. Probably because that one jerkwad. Up oh, here we go. They've almost finished setting up the textile shop. And then it's time to go all Chinese labor on this thing. And produce the goods that we need to build more beds. How much flax do I have? 30. Okay, excellent. Excellent. So actually, I'm going to go ahead because it takes. 12 should be fine. Based on how long the plants will take to grow and based on uh, how long it will take to fall. And here they go, they are carrying the flax into these things. I kind of want to see them do this. Up, oh, Mr. Brunwork is working. He's at that bench, and he is producing cloth. Excellent. Oh, this is fantastic. Our textile industry is up and running with a venture. More fish people? Damnation. 
So where do I want to build my bunkhouse? I'm going to build my bunkhouse. You know what? We're just going to build it here. It's going to be lower class because I don't see any reason to make it bigger. saving right when I'm trying to design a building. Wouldn't you know it. Okay, so again, that's probably kind of big, but it'll be okay. We have... I'm going to put some... I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, actually. We're going to start making it a little harder to get into here. So we're going to put one door here. We're going to put the other door over here. Just going to start. Okay, I made it a little skinny. Which is okay. Really, I just want a long hallway with. That. Okay. And there's not really any. Yeah, so I should have made it a little bigger because I want to put in like another cabinet and some tables. But really, they should just be happy I'm giving them more beds. And Oceanus is building that up. We are getting all the wood and all the... So I have I got more than enough wood. I got more than enough stone. We're not worried about that at all. And actually, I'm keeping these guys so... That is... Way too... Note to self, the most likely thing to cause my game to crash is the... Oh, look at this. We can make a middle class... Oh my god, a middle class bed is amazing. Oh my god, the upper class bed. When you have to actually start building this stuff, I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yep, we will accept the bringing with open arms now. Get out of my way. I can build better low class beds. Who knew? And we're just going to. Did not mean to do that. Okay. Uh, it should be okay as long as I space it out. Actually, that might be a really cool way to save some space. I have to look into the, that design next time, but we're gonna build just two doors. Okay, now let me show you what I was going to do before the game crashed. What we need to do is we need to construct some high gabions. So we're going to do it right here. This is gonna prevent people from just walking through the buildings. I don't need to do it over here because the kiln just naturally makes it possible. And isn't that nifty how it does that? It's almost like I was smart enough to plan it. I'm not. Oh, and Oceanus is once again doing a good job, buddy. So we're ending day 12. Everyone is hungry as all hell, apparently. More fish people. You know, I've been trying to make friends with the fish people. They apparently do not like me. Because they have not given me a single gift. You guys should enjoy all that food. I made it for you. I made all that food for you. Look at all that good stuff, man. Look at all that good stuff. Uh, clear that stump, please. It's in the middle of my resource stockpile. I do not like it. 
the soldiers will build the gabions, I believe. So let's try doing this again without... Crashing the game. There we go. Just disable everything but food. And that way we have plenty. And remove that. And yeah, it looks like they're all staying up and they're having to take. Uh, what crew? I never did put you into a what crew, did I? Yeah, I don't. Mr. David Thingo's proper steam. Good job. I wonder what I do with the bones. Maybe they're for my making tools or something. I don't know. Okay, but now we have plenty of space for the food. I got... Oh, an overseer and two more laborers. Excellent. Did they automatically put the laborers in the... I only want to give him one, but that's okay. So... Wait, what? Okay, it's only one, so we're not going to let him do that. Where is he? People are pretty happy, so that's good. Oh good, they're bringing the resources to build the defenses. So that one bandit had better he better not take my gold. He had better not take my my gold. I had to earn that gold. Are you the bandit? No, you're not the bandit. Uh you guys should not be yeah, I was about to say you should not all be standing up. What's wrong, Pluto? Pluto is of sound mind, he has stand from but he's sad. Why are you sad? creeped out. He is really unhappy. Oh, he's a, he, he is a criminal. Oh, uh, Pluto. Pluto, buddy, we're gonna get you fixed up right now, buddy. We, you, you are here at the cow's colony and it's gonna be a fantastic ride, I promise you that. Okay? I don't want you to worry about a thing. What the hell is that? Oh, it looks like my colonists can build gabions too. Well, now nobody's going to be sneaking. It dis di disappear. A crew fortification paid from earth and stone. Okay, it didn't disappear. It's just uh, invisible. Alpha is alpha. And we are building... Commodities. Okay, we got more than enough bolts of cloth. This is really going to help our bed situation. We don't have any source of uh, stuff for glass, unfortunately. So. Do I still have? Uh, I still have some pickle black stuff, but we'll, what I want to do is I want to harvest more. Oh, they're starting to not like each other. Guys, I need y'all to calm the hell down, okay? Just calm down. The kitchen is going to produce plenty of food for you to eat. Nobody's going hungry. And in fact, what we need to do is we need to mine. I think we'll build the mine right here. So let's get those beds up first. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, they are already mass producing beds. How about that? Now, the bedding situation is going to be different because I imagine when this game moves farther along, first of all, there's going to be a limit to how many beds you can place in a single structure or size of a structure and make people happy, and that the higher classes will want better stuff. Right now, you can just get away with all they really care about is, do I have a bed? That's all they really care about. But I think, 
you know, not less than half of my crews are not working, but I kind of don't want to assign more stuff because I still see stuff that I want done, like this. Why is this not picked up? This. Why is this not cleaned up? I, I want to know. Clear that terrain. You better pick up that. That stuff is valuable. And I need it. I'll go put the mine right here because it will guarantee a supply of coal. Uh, I need iron. Parts are being assembled. I need iron. I need. I need malachite. I need. I need bodies. I need more criminals. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? I need. My naturalist has not done a good job of finding this. Checking just the edges of the. We'll check over here. May have to build a mine way up here. You know, I said I want you to explore. There we go. Looks like you've seen the last. Oh, hang on. I use uh, okay that's iron so what's the other stuff another bandit gang has appeared it's not, not oh that's uh, stone that's just stone and as the day ends we do have coal and iron okay we'll go build the mine over here and they have, looks like they are going to finish construction. Oh, look at this, man. Look at all these. Twice as many beds. Twice as many beds, guys. Now, I'm going to let the game continue running until morning. Uh, what are you mad about? He is under the safe thing. I'm going to figure out why he's mad. Go let the game run until morning. And we are going to play more right after this.